Hi everyone, this is Iki from Boiling Steam again. Uh, today I wanted to share with you a short experiment I did with um, FSR, which is the Fidelity FX Super Resolution uh, technology from AMD. Uh, and this technology is, is basically an upscaler to uh, enable uh, running a game at, at lower res resolutions uh, and upscaling it to your native screen resolution and, and giving you better performance with a very uh, little visual loss, at least perceived one. Um, this is uh, a technology made by AMD, uh, but uh, you don't need to have an AMD GPU to use it. Um, on my case here, I'm, I'm running Max Payne 3 on, on an NVIDIA GPU, it's actually a 1060 card, which is fairly old card now. And um, I'm running this game, Max Payne 3, right now at uh, um, the ultra wide resolution of uh, 3440 pixels times uh, uh, 4040. And uh, you can see this game is trailing a little bit um, because it's running at like 40 frames per second, approximately. Um, and definitely it's, it's not the best experience if, if you're running it it's at the native resolution. Uh, you can play it, uh, but you're gonna get killed a lot <laughs> because you're missing a couple of frames here and there, which is also includes some lag. Um, so uh, now if you're using, if you're using FSR, which is now included in the latest Proton G build, uh, you'll be able to, to directly benefit from this by changing the resolution inside the game. And then Proton G will uh, directly include the, the FSR hack, I would say, as part uh, of the, you know, the upscaler uh, that's already included in, in, the, in Proton. And uh, now you'll be able to switch resolution and the FSR will be applied directly uh, you know, on your game without you having to do anything except, uh, you know, adding a flag um, in the, the setup for Proton G in the launch options. And then you will see here I'm, I'm running at the ultra wide resolution of uh, 2560 times 1080p. And this is uh, now running much better. We're not about like 40 frames per second, we're already running at 75 to 80 frames per second. So almost like <laughs> doubling the frame rate. Uh, which is normal because we, we are you know, going massively into a lower resolution so that you should definitely see a performance impact. Uh, this is great because now you're, you're definitely in the 60 FPS range uh, when you remove the, the V-Sync, um, I mean, the v -Sync, uh, when you put V-Sync on. And uh, now, uh, actually, you, you will see it's very hard to tell that the game is running at a lower resolution. Uh, it's very, very hard. Uh, I it's, it's definitely almost impossible to tell if you're just showing the two screens next to each other which one is running at native versus uh, FSR. Um, you can even go lower. <coughs> so now I'm going at the lower resolution, which is um, 1980 times uh, 800, which is the ultra, ultra wide resolution again. And this one, um, again, you will see uh, now we're really going very much uh, in the low resolution, but still FSR is doing a decent job into upscaling uh, things up. And uh, while you would definitely see now there's, there's a, some loss of resolution and, and especially in the sharpness of the picture, uh, now you get to the you know, 85 plus to 90 frames per second. So very, very smooth gameplay. Um, and uh, again, the loss, visual loss, is not extremely large either. Uh, it still looks beautiful. Uh, and so, if you can, you know, if you can play a game that has lots, you know, of motion, uh, you won't really be noticing, uh, I think, much differences per se. So FSR is a great technology, and I think going forward, if you're right now struggling with your GPU, uh, you can count on this technology to actually give you extra FPS without having you to, to purchase any, any, anything new at this stage. Uh, a quick comparison at the end between uh, the same scene um, that you saw the cutscene at the end between the three different resolutions. And you will see it is very hard to tell which one is which. Um, even if you if you stop um, this video, uh, it's very hard to tell the differences. So it's pretty great uh, upscaler and uh, I recommend you try it.